Hello, my name is Ade, and this is a video showing an overview of implementing weapons in RPG All in One. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a weapon. We're going to spawn it in the game so the player can pick it up and allow the player to automatically equip it when they pick it up. And we're also going to implement it within our costume designer. So, when they have the item equipped, it will show up in their hand. And finally, we'll create a skill that can only be used when a weapon or a certain type is equipped. So, first of all, let's define like a custom weapon type. So already have a couple here. We're just gonna make a new one. We're gonna call it um, uh, Runic Weapons, or we'll just call it Runic. We don't need to call it Runic Weapon, and we can leave the rest of the fields the same. It's just a weapon type for now. And we're gonna go to the item database and create a new weapon. I'm gonna call it the Runic Axe and give it the weapon type of Runic and then give it some damage value. So we're going to say it does between 5 and 10 damage and maybe it does 15 to 20 fire damage. We can give it a short description. Give it a rarity, a weight, sell price, buy price, etc. Uh, we can also give it some attribute buffs, maybe strength and dexterity. And you could give it some other properties, but for now we're going to leave it just like that. And we're going to finally give it an icon. Let's see if we have any axes here. I don't think we do. We'll just use this for now. Or we'll just use like a sword icon. It doesn't really matter at this stage. So there we go. So now we have that weapon created. We can actually spawn it into our game world straight away by just clicking spawn as loot. And we can select the item and click game object to move to view and then just further move it slightly to where we want it to be we'll put beside this um, snack machine there there we go so as you can see it has um, the default loot item object that I've set up for it but we can delete that and we can actually find our own model and just drag that as a child of the lootable object, like so. And if you wanted to, you could attach some scripts to your model, maybe make it spin around or rotate or anything you desire. It's all really customizable. And so now I have the world lootable item there, or the ruining axe. So the next thing we can do is go to our options. And we have a new option now in update 1.0.3, where you can set auto equip if slot is empty to auto equip ground items on loot. So when the character picks it up, as long as his weapon slot is empty, it's gonna equip that item. Next we want to go to our costume designer and we're gonna set it up for our warlord class. So we're gonna type in here spare because he has two spares in each of his hands. So zero one is the one in his right hand. So we're gonna add a new item. So essentially when we add a new item here, if this item is equipped, then it will show the spare. But if none of these items listed here are equipped in the relevant slot, then it will not show the weapon in its hand on the character model. So we're going to select Runic Axe and we're going to say only in weapon slot. And if we have dual wielding, we can also set Runic Axe for spare 2, which is in his left hand, and only if it's equipped in his off hand, like so. So if you want spares to appear in both hands when you have Runic Axes equipped, then you need a Runic Axe equipped in the weapon slot to show it in the right hand and equipped in the off hand so to show it in the left hand. So that is now done. So if we go into the game now and test it already, we'll be able to pick up this axe and have it automatically show up in the player's hand. But we're gonna just do one more thing. So we've created our weapon, we've set it up to show up on the character's model and we've also put it in the game world to be lootable. We're finally gonna do one more thing and create a skill for it. So we're gonna make a projectile skill. I'm going to call the skill Throw Axe and we're going to set up some of these values. So we can set up a little, a little icon. So again we can use the skill icon. We can use the uh, weapon icon again. I think it was this one. Uh, we're going to use mana to cast it. Uh, automatically unlock it at level 1. Target type is enemy. Upgrade type being skill points. Uh, all classes can use it. 
And what we need to do now is generate skill prefab. So there we go, that's been spawned to the scene. So this is going to be the projector that moves um, as it's uh, moving in the air. So again, we want to move this into the view. That'll do. And again, we can use the model of the axe. And then we want to make it slightly small. So it should be traveling in that direction. So we can move it down. So it's in the center. And also rotate it. Like so. Okay, and we can hit apply. And let's customize a few more things. So, say uh, the cast time, say one second. Actually, no, we can leave the cast time in zero, that's fine. We'll just set the cooldown time to maybe two seconds. And we'll set the fire damage to 5 to 20, physical being 2 to 10. And you can set a projectile speed, we'll say maybe 5. Actually, no, we can do a bit higher, we say 10. And it can fly for up to 5 seconds. And we'll just give it a quick tooltip. And then we need the animation, so for the Warlord we're going to use the Attack 2 animation. Like so. And finally, just to make sure that the player has the correct weapon type, we're going to say require equipped weapon type, and we want to have a runic weapon equipped. And we can also say it requires 10 mana to cost. And that should be fine. We can going to just add something else, say when you cast it, you get some health back. Why not? And there we go, we're going to add 10 health. And hit save. And there we go. So now all we need to do is save the scene and we need to recreate the character because we've made some changes. It's always best to start with a new character when you make some changes. And so let's test this out. So make a new character. So here we are in the game. So first of all we want to equip the runic axe and that's automatically equipped to us when it shows up. And next we can open our skill menu and drag and drop the throw axe skill to our skill bar. And now if we select one of these targets, we can throw the axe at them. So you can see the axe is moving quite fast. to drop a lot of loot right now, which is why it looks a little funky. There we go. So as you can see there we've created a weapon, showing you how to automatically equip it in-game and find it in-game, and then how to show it up in the player's hand and also a skill that works if that weapon is equipped, or at least that weapon type. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you want to find out more information about RPG All-in-One, check out the link below in the description and have a lovely day.